Back the lane. Mid lane. I saw, was this oh, Lundra? It's actually been gone on, and there's a DD on the top. Yeah, the Soul Siphon will slow him down, and Weeha should be done for one First more right yeah. click. Yep, Death Prophet actually not needing the right click, getting it with the Soul Siphon. And that's Spirit Siphon. And these stairs. But for the super farm build, I, I think Mask Manus is a bit better. Envy, they're going on him, they're teeping up the Death Prophet, and they want this kill. So this is going to be a tough escape from him. TP's coming in from Team Secret. Arrow going to go flying through. They dodged it with the snowball. Not sure that was the plan, but it worked out just fine. <laughs> don't even think they had vision of it coming in. and to be part of the plan. And then they were like, Darkseer can't actually be bought. He needs to leave. Hey, wait, Mirana can be bought. And then everything just kind of yeah. fell into place. But and the other thing was Tusk kind of camped mid too. So you hit an arrow, you could just snowball and keep the hero alive oh. during that period of time. Oh. That's the end of that one. Speaking of Pyro, just ping that he saw like part oh. of the smoke animation. Derek's is still standing very close by. Mm, here comes Envy, looking to go in, Matumba Man. No, oh, he dodges the stun. Snowball forward, can he still get the kill? The eye shot comes out as well. Matumba Man going aggressive, gets the two hero chains, but it's going to leave Tusk to die. They did not have the numbers they'd like, and Sven popping the ultimate. Not a hero that Ember particularly wants to fight with his low armor right now. You know what, it's still better for Liquid than if Rush had gone down for Tusk to die. Yeah, but it's Dyer's the Ancients farm as well, and Envy will farm this and then immediately can get back to stacking it some more. I say you can farm it, he's been caught out, and Flame Guard will finish off the kill, the vision. And to Macumba Man, and there's nothing to get rid of this Flame Guard right now, they need some magic damage coming in, he's just gonna fight the best, there comes the Slider Fist. But Tumba Man gets a Searing Chains up on two, he's almost killed off the bear, he will do so, and they take out Lone Druid. He's looking for more, he wants Misery, Oracle will get a double kill, the spam. On the purifying flames, just doing serious work as secret loose four heroes here and heroes. Not that you're going to always be landing them, but at some point you've got to have a like clear purpose for this Marana pick. Well, there's the Marana ulti that should save Pylai okay. die, but counter kill on this one. Span going to go in, throws the sun, does not have the god swing for now. The arrow will get dodged by the Yule Scepter. Oh no, Fata may still get out of this one, but here comes the God Strength, there's going to be a false promise as well, Fata can just turn and fight, has he got the heals to survive this one, it looks like yes he's healing, here comes Tide Ravage on everyone, secret, they lose one, they're going to lose two, Weeha goes down as well, Puppy looking for the TP out, he'll survive, but they lose, well the more important here is all three cores go down, just the two supports dying over the ward when they throw that wave of terror, but it was just amazing that Tide won't pass and secret remained cool. Oh, Slide of Fist scouts it out, Radiant, oh, Radiant gets nothing, they don't they got a tower. Yeah, they got yeah. a tower, and they're just a little bit too late with that Slide of Fist scout. That's, I want to say it's still like, it's an oversight by Pilotar when they're rushing. You, you're supposed to wave like in the other direction so that it's... start stacking those ancients, but... Bottom lane where Liquid say, you've been ages, well we don't really care, we're gonna try and push and fight into you until these TPs come in. Ben's TP has got the God Strength, mind control on the front lines, can throw a Ravage here if he'd like to, he gets hit by an arrow, is he gonna be the target? Yes, he is for now, pops the mech, holds onto the Ravage, he'll throw it now, catches up two, make it three with that one, and Sven just getting kind of kited in place, no longer has God Strength, he will be coming back and up in just a second here, Death Prophet's already killed one, that's in the top lane, Matumba Man, Fire Remnant out, the bear getting low, gets taken up by the Anchor Bash, mind control, the new target, but... Got a bear for this one. I don't think Liquid's gonna be too phased by that. As the Searing Chains out on Puppy, Matumba Man needs to decide if he wants to fight this one or not. Jerek's still in the fray. Pulling it out, has an Ice Shard as well as a Walrus Punch soon. And with that bench, bench Magic Missile, he will go down off to the side. It's Kuro, unable to keep all his teammates alive. He's on the back foot here. This arrow will land. Gets one more nuke up onto Weeha. He's going down to the Urn Charges. He'll die. Oh, Kuro, what a way to go out. With a bang, he gets the kill, and oh, meanwhile, Fata says, not only did I get a kill up here, Shadow you're also missing me get your tier 2 tower. Still a big win for, for Secret, I want to say. I guess they could have gotten the position there. He solo killed the Darkseer, which I guess using the Yules to cancel off the Surge, I imagine. And so, so what's the reason you think that he uses the chains and doesn't just wait? Is it, is it like, you know, forcing a decision or something? Like, you either have to TP now or... I think he thought he was pro probably running out of time since he's near a T2 tower. Maybe he's afraid of like a rotation coming in or... I, I, it's yeah. hard to say. Exactly. Control taking perhaps a damage he bargained for here and... Without an Aegis or anything on their side, they're just trying to get maximum value out of this excellent cooldown. They swap back in onto Fata. Pulled even further away. Can the false promise come off? It does do so in time. Fata now getting healed back up. They're going to do some more damage if they want to kill him off. He self heals this. The heal's still continuing. I don't think Fata's going down. No way. He's full HP. That's Oracle for you, and Fathom now on the back foot, or is he more heals coming his way? There's nothing he can do, they've already used two Ivex here, so okay. the from the Ember Spirit takes out two more, and that's more dead. Rax is exposed, they've bought enough time for the Exorcism to wear off, but like you said, is yeah. this just game? It is! GG, secret!
I mean, 21 minutes! Secret went for like a really cheeky little play. I don't know if you saw it, it was the swap into arrow. So Swap, arrow, and like, yeah, vacuumed him further back. They tried to get him out of range for the false promise, it looked like, so that... Do this like ingenious, super creative attempt at a kill, because that's how bad...